The first thing we need to know is that there's really only a few chords in this song. This song starts out with a capo on the third fret, and as you're playing it on the third fret, you're going to play these chord shapes. C, E minor, G, and D. C, E minor, G, and D. And the synthesizer comes in here, and I'm going to show you the, the lick here real quick. And I'm going to explain it from, from the third fret. You're going to start on the D string on the second fret, okay, the second fret from the capo. And you're just going to hit it three times. Okay. So again, you're going to hit the D string on the second fret from the capo three times. First string, open E. Okay, second string, third fret from the capo. Same string, three, opens. Third string, second fret from capo, and open. So you've got. time it changes is that that last one there where it goes two on the third string open on the second third on the second and back to the open string on the third so you've got Basically that's it for that little synth lead there. As far as the verses go, you're just going to do a C shape, E minor, C shape, and E minor. And a very simple rhythm if you're going to play this by yourself could be um, down. As far as when it goes into the, the chorus part, you can still hang on the C and still do the same rhythm. Basically, it ends on the D shape for the progression of that chorus. end on the D shape for the chorus part of that progression. That's pretty much it. When the song ends, it actually still goes back to the very beginning, the C, E minor, G, D. I believe it does it one more time.